I am your host, Carlos Lyons, and I have a couple of guys with me today. We're going to be discussing how to build plant-based muscle. Yes, that's right. How to build muscle on a vegan diet. And so to my right, I have this gentleman here. Bravo, baby. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> Hope y'all feeling, feeling good today. Feeling energized. Jam. Jam. And then to my left, we have... Your boy EC, man. Elliot Crawford, straight out of H-Town. All right, H-Town, represent. All right, so as we said, okay, we got people joining in. Hey, um, as we said, we're going to be talking about how to build plant-based muscle today. And that is basically how are you going to be a vegan athlete or be a person that wants to build functional muscle, um, looking toned, looking fit without looking skinny, um, but also living on a plant-based diet. And honestly, I want everybody to share basically how they got started with veganism. So for me personally, this started back in 2019. Um, I started the year from the jump, January 2019. Hello, hello, Timothy Brown. Hello. Um, started the year off basically just wanted to commit to doing a month of like veganism and then it turned into doing it the entire year. Um, honestly, it was definitely good. So I consider myself still a vegetarian. I don't necessarily consider myself um, vegan because of the, the connotation that goes with that word. But um, I definitely have been eating more plant-based for sure, strictly plant-based at the beginning of 2020. And uh, it started back in 2015 when uh, my father passed away. Uh, yeah, 2015 was when he passed away. Um, basically, he was a person that had you know diabetes. He had uh, sleep apnea, a lot of other complications with his health. And he told me to be concerned about watching for my health and just signs with uh, diabetic um, issues. And um, I went for a checkup in 2017. They said I was pre-diabetic. So I went vegan for about a month and tried to get my levels right. Um, but honestly, that's kind of where my curiosity with the health journey started. And so my commitment now is just kind of keeping it up, being more holistic in my approach to veganism. And honestly, just thinking about doing it for as long as I can. So my transition was really just a desire to do better for my health and for my longevity. Yeah. Either one of you guys can jump in first. I well, uh, for me it started in 2017. Uh, 2016 was a wild year for me, so I decided to give up drinking for the year of 2017. A lot of people was like, "You're not gonna be able to give up drinking because we party hard." <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I said, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge myself and I'm gonna get this done." And so in June, it was June 20th. I just had eggs with my mom. I had an egg sandwich at my mom's place. And so as I'm heading home uh, that morning, my best friend Tati she sends me a text. Send me a text. She says. Check out this documentary. It was it was what the hell. Oh yeah. And so oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. all right, cool. I'm gonna check it out. So I'm sitting on the couch before I go for my run, and I sit here. I'm gonna watch about five, ten minutes of it. And as I'm going through it, I'm like, it starts pulling me in more and more, and I start to get angry about it. Cause I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I'm reading all these articles. Cause I'm like, I'm always trying to get more knowledge. I'm reading stuff how to uh, be healthier in life. How I can be a better trainer for my clients. Right. And so I'm reading this stuff, and I'm seeing that uh, the more I go in depth with it. That the same things they're telling me I should be eating, putting in my body, I'm learning like it's hurting me as well. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I'm like, I know in our community we deal with a lot of obesity, a lot yeah. of uh, mm -hmm. uh, chronic disease. And so yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to combat that, but I'm also making it worse because I'm, I'm encouraging people, hey, eat this. Right. And if like they're eating in excess, it's like it's hurting them mm -hmm. more than it's helping them. Right. And so I was hot. So I, I went vegan cold turkey right there. Wow. And I went because like, I, I think I didn't have meat Applied until him. I went <laughs> until. Uh, that's, that's good. It was until I went to my family reunion. Uh, a year later, okay, because I went vegan from. She told me on the twenty. She went vegan on the twenty. I went vegan on the twenty first of June, and I didn't touch. I didn't have any animal product in my system until I went to my family reunion. And I'm from Louisiana, so oh, okay. so, like, what part? What part? New Orleans, uptown. Oh, my okay. people was like, "Hey, we don't give a hell about your diet. <laughs> like, hey, this, this is what we eat. eat. This, this is what we, what we don't be eating. Right. So we just got to deal with it." <laughs> and so, and like, what it did to me, it made my stomach like. It told me up, man. Like so vegan? Like, no, I oh, the, uh, oh, the, uh, when I went back to the old food, okay. when I tried, and I was like, I was unhappy with it. But when I went through the first three weeks mm -hmm. of being vegan, almost didn't last because, man, <laughs> I lost about oh, look, 12, 13, 14 pounds, like three weeks. I was mad skinny, lost muscle mass. I started to get depressed. I'm like, man, what's going on? So what I didn't learn in those short three weeks, so I didn't do no reading. I said, I'm just gonna stop eating meat. Right, 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 right. I didn't supplement those calories that I was yeah. cutting out. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. animal food has more calories, more calories and fat, stuff like that. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, I need to replace that. 
And so I said, okay, let me start cooking other things. And I realized I was uh, vitamin deficient. Mm. Okay. B12, mm. yeah. vitamin D. I wasn't getting yeah. a lot of things mm. in my system because I cut all of that out. Yeah. And so when I learned what the side effects were when it came to not having enough B12 in your system, because you only could find B12 as a vegan mm -hmm. through a supplement. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was yeah. like, when I learned that, I'm like, man, that's why I've been moody. I said, I've been acting like a woman, <laughs> PMS. So I'm like, hold on, bro, I'm tripping out here. Oh, so I'm my. like, I had to pull myself together. And so that's when I started going deep into reading, uh, getting more knowledgeable about being a plant-based diet. Yeah. And so I started uh, changing my meals that I learned growing up. Yeah. I made them plant-based. Okay. I still did my red beans. Like yeah. I said, I put my weight. It took me about six and a half months to put my size back on. How much strength. do you weigh now? I weigh two. Well, I'm cutting right now. So okay, I was, okay. uh, at, the, at the end of December, I was 213. Okay. I'm 208 right now. So okay. I lost three pounds this month. Okay. Um, well, January. January okay. I lost three pounds. And I started cutting in December. And so uh, around spring, I'll be about 205, real lean, but I still kind of keep up that little bulky size. Like we was talking earlier about the different body types. Yeah. So I'm kind of like in the middle, like a, yeah. I think it's a mesomorph or something like mesomorph. that. Yeah, mesomorph. So oh, it's like okay. my body type, I'm, I'm, I was real skinny as a kid. Right. But as my, in my family, our genetics, we kind of stocky, but we not. Bolt, Bill, yo, yeah. like super bolt. Okay. So it's like so when we like put on muscle, it's like that lean, fit, yeah, rip, yeah, cut muscle. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. so yeah, so man, as I, I started seeing those results and that, but my energy was so great, man. I'm, I'm already highly energetic, right? As you all can tell. <laughs> and so like, but like, my, I was yeah. uh, resting better. Yeah. You know, I uh, had some other benefits that came that we can't talk about on here. <laughs> so, uh, you yeah. know, uh, but <laughs> but uh, it, I saw so many benefits from being plant based. Yeah. I was like, why would I want to? Right. You get tempted, like going back to my family reunion in yeah. 2018. Uh, yeah. It was like those temptations, but when you see that you get hit with so many complications right afterwards, yeah. you're yeah. like, you know what? It's not even worth it. So yeah. I was like, man, I'm cool with you being completely plant based. I'm loving it. And, you know, I look good and I feel good. Can't yeah. be no better. And then how long? So it's been three years? Three years in June. Wow. Three years in June. So right. y'all, he went through the phase of like being the thinner dude and then he bulked it back up. So it's possible. He's like, you said 208 right I'm now? 208 right 208. now. 208. So yeah, it's possible to keep the size or pack on the size after you've lost the size. Like right now, I, as you can tell, I'm not as big as either one of these guys. Um, I don't know what my body type is, but I think it's I'm on the good. skinny side. Yeah, you probably like, like endomorph. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think so. I think I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably an ecto. Ex I think, ex yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So, so y'all can go look that up. Ecto, meso, and something else. Endo. Endo, yeah, yeah. 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 Endo. It's probably, probably like several more after that, actually. It's just three. Those are the only three? three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm in the middle. I'm in the smaller. <laughs> you're, on the far, you're on the far left. On the far left. Okay, okay. So, meso is like him. Yeah, like, they pack on muscle really yeah. easily. Okay. Um, I think I'm right in the middle. Pro I'm probably one that's uh, that you just gain fat like real easy. Okay. So, yeah, that's me. So tell your story, Ellie. Man, I want to hear how you. Oh man. So my story was, man, I was a personal trainer, man, for for a while. I didn't know that. Yes, that's how. Two I met. personal trainers. Yeah, that's how I met my wife. Okay. She was, she was my client. This hey. was right before. Whoa! <laughs> Got a body right hey. there. <laughs> But I had fired her, so I could date her. So let me be clear. That's I real. Wasn't, hey, I wasn't hey, just kicking right. it with my client. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but we yeah. shut that down once I got to seminary. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I was retiring out of the military, and I had done 20 years. And uh, I was did my time faithfully. But once I retired, I had so much time to myself, I just felt like into this kind of like depression, yeah. you know, because um, dealing with all the things you do with the military and all the stuff that, you know, I dealt with, as, as you know, in my life, I, mean, I just felt, I just got into a depression, I had to go to the doctor and go through all that process. But during that process, man, I had just gained weight, mm -hmm. you know, didn't even, didn't even realize, just woke up like fat, like, you know, right. so like what happened, <laughs> right. like what happened, you know, so, yeah. but I was eating a lot of meat, okay. traditionally, like as a trainer, I was telling people the traditional stuff, you know, chicken breast, salmon, just mm -hmm. normal uh, meat products. And then I ate all that stuff and along with a bunch of other stuff mm -hmm. and I just got big. And then one day I went to the um, Veteran Affairs um, to get for an appointment, and I saw my weight and some of my um, my health stuff, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, this is not cool. Like, something got to change. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, my wife, she was already pretty much vegan. Like, she don't really eat meat. And so we went to this graduation party, and they were teasing me about some type of food. And I said, you know what? I'm not eating meat anymore. And my wife was mm -hmm. like, man, whatever. <laughs> whatever, you can't do that. And I was like, no, I'm serious. I'm not going to eat meat anymore. So I had ate some veggie, uh, I think it was veggie lasagna or something like that. Mm. And they had like a whole spread of food. Mm. But that mm. night, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not eating any animal products. So I went pescatarian. 
Okay. So I went pescatarian for a couple months while I just ate seafood. And I was eating seafood and a lot of other, she was making a lot of other uh, vegetarian stuff. Yeah. And I lived that. I did that for like two months. I was just buying seafood. Then I watched Game Changers and another yeah. documentary on, um, called From the Ground Up. And From the Ground okay. Up is about athletes. And both of them are about athletes. But From the Ground Up is another athletic film about veganism. And I saw that. We were watching it. And I, and I said, I'm done. I'm not eating meat again. And she yeah. was like, dude, you just bought all this seafood. I said, I'll give it away. I'm not, I'm not eating the meat. <sighs> I was done, mm -hmm. and I haven't ate meat since. I think that was like, um, I want to say October-ish, October-ish, uh, 2019, because okay. yeah. it was right before my birthday, my okay. birthday, November 3rd. So it was around October, and I said, I'm done, I'm not eating any meat. And so when I transitioned, no, I went pescatarian, but when I transitioned fully vegan, I started thinking about all the stuff. I'm from the South, I'm from Houston, my wife from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So we like a lot of Creole, a lot of soul food. So I was trying to figure out how do I make the meals that I enjoy from a vegan perspective. Right, right, right. And so, man, I just got in the kitchen, man. Like, I yeah, got you be the cooking some stuff. Like, I got in the kitchen, I've man. Seen and some we, of cooked, it. we cooked a, uh, just a plethora of food, uh, but it's always tasty. It's mm -hmm. always good. And I started noticing that I just naturally started to lose weight. Yeah. It was just like that. I started losing weight and I started feeling more energetic. Um, and I found then, once I started feeling the results of it, mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going back. Right. And, and then once I realized that, man, I can get full. Yeah. At first, when I thought yeah. with veganism, I thought, man, you can't get full. You're going to feel lethargic. Like, how do you yeah. even get energy? Like, you know. But then once I realized, like, dude, I feel really energetic. Mm -hmm. And I feel satisfied, but right. I don't feel heavy. Mm -hmm. exactly. And so when I ate meat, I always felt, like, heavy. Yeah. You know, you call mm -hmm. it itis, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so but with veganism, I don't really get that. I exactly. just feel satisfied, and I'm yeah. ready to go. Yeah. And it'd be like a hearty meal. Yeah. Exactly. So, right. so that's how I went, man. I'm not going back. I, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's hard to basically get full on this diet. No, no. Or no. I don't even want to call it diet, lifestyle. So, yeah. 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 Lifestyle. yeah. And my wife is vegan. Our baby, obviously, she gets breast milk. So right. She's vegan. So she's super vegan. Super vegan. <laughs> vegan. Super vegan. Super vegan. And, she's, and she is gaining a lot of weight. So yeah, she is a healthy baby girl. Plant based milk works. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, okay, so let's jump right into the main thing. It's like building muscle. Um, this probably will appeal a lot more to guys, but of course, the ladies that's out there too, you want to look good, you want to look toned. Um, let's talk about the myth about veganism around the whole protein and where we get our protein and protein deficiency question. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure, Bravo, you get that question or hear about all that time. all the time. All the As time. a personal trainer, yeah. Yeah, so when I, I just told one of my clients, uh, <laughs> Thursday, I said, yeah, you know, my vegan diet. He was like, what? Are you serious? Are you vegan? I'm like, yeah, bro, it's been about three years. <laughs> and so they only, they've only seen me, I've had them for about a month and a half. So they've only seen me look like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I was telling like this, like, but how do you get protein? I'm like, if you yeah. just, like, animals get protein from mm -hmm. eating from the earth. Absolutely. Right. You know, and the only reason that animals have such a high content of protein mm -hmm. is because we're eating their flesh. Right. So, yeah. if, so, if you, so say if you ate, if you was a, you know, carnivore, you ate humans as well. Uh, you're right. you going to have a lot of protein because we <laughs> eating the protein from the plant, from the animals and they eating the plant. And a lot of fat. Like, you look at other... Uh, <laughs> So if you look at rhinos, apes, and stuff like that, they yeah. eat from the earth. Mm -hmm. So I, I took that as, okay, if they could be so muscular and strong, I can do the same thing. Right. Yeah. And so uh, what I started doing was uh, seeing, like, how can I get my proteins? Beans, Beans. Uh, grains, and everything. Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, you need complete proteins. Right. And so I was like, well, okay, complete proteins, how do I do that? How do you define and, that? Can you define so, that? So you, have complete, protein? So you yeah. have complete proteins. So you have complete and complete proteins. You have, yeah, it's about the amino acids. Okay. You have the, all the essential amino acids to, to be a complete protein. Okay. And you have nine essential amino acids that makes them incomplete. Yeah. So once you have all the essentials, that what makes it complete. And so in a plant-based diet, you don't have any food that's a strict complete protein. You have to mix them together. Mm -hmm. So when people like oatmeal, I do my oatmeal with almond milk. Mm -hmm. I do my uh, beans and rice, beans and tortillas, things like that. And so since I since I eat a lot of my dishes, uh, I make my meat out of the vegetables. Yeah, yeah. If people know what I mean. I'm saying I grind up like mushrooms, yeah, eggplant. chickpeas. Yes, yeah, so yes, I grind. Yes. Like, I made a spaghetti, uh, uh, spaghetti squash, uh, spaghetti uh, over the week. Yeah, and so in my sauce, fresh tomatoes. Uh, 
my basil, everything like that. But I grind up my food processor a bunch of uh, portobello mushrooms mm -hmm. and eggplant. Mm -hmm. And so it gives you that texture of meat yeah. once you blend it up like right. that. Yeah. So once you put it in, mix it in, once it's all in the sauce, it all looks the same. Right. So, you know, I'm getting my protein from these vegetables and yeah. everything like that. Mm -hmm. And you and you won't have such a large amount of protein that you're taking in. But what people think that I need, protein, protein, protein. I used to always walk around and be yeah. like, protein, someone give me protein. <laughs> right, right, and right. But what I learned was, man, from what I'm trying to achieve, I only need I don't need that uh, 130 grams of protein. Right. Like man, I'm good with 65. I get 65 to 85 grams of protein in a day. And typically in bodybuilding, they tell you that you need to eat way more. Eat bro, but you way more. They tell you way more. That. Bro, think about this. Okay, I right, this is what I tell my clients. If you put so you know some people they like I had a protein shake. This right, morning. right, right, right. Then they had lunch. <sighs> They didn't work out though. No, no. And they had dinner. So you had a whole bunch of meat and protein in your dinner, your lunch, and you had this protein shit that's blasting with bro protein. Yeah. So now what happens to protein if it's not being used to repair muscle, repair muscle tissues, if it's not being repaired to help your organs? What's happening to it? It's going to be turned into fat to be stored yeah. as fat stored in case you ever go into starvation. Absolutely. So I'm like, why? Are, so I'm like, why are people like, if you're not working out that day, do not. I mean, do not take a protein shake. It's pointless. You're not using it for anything. I don't think you even need protein shake. Yeah, I, I don't think you do neither, really. Uh, but if you out lifting, you like, oh, I want something quick. Okay, yeah. cool. And there's plant based proteins yeah. out there yeah. Yeah. Uh, that you could get that has all the essentials yeah, that you need. Nice. So. I just believe that people should get away from protein shakes, especially those whey proteins. So I'm like, yeah. they wonder why they still, they can't lose the belly fat. Now you put it in you all can't this even digest it. Exactly. You put all this weight in your body, but you don't, but you didn't even work out for two days. Mm. What's the point? Mm -hmm. I need protein, but you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you know, so you don't need yeah, protein. Yeah. Go eat you some, fi something with some fiber. Fiber. To some get fiber. Stuff out your system. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's I'm huge. Past that. Yeah, we're no, 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 no. I mean, I can't say it any better. I did well, even with the fiber, everything that you're talking about, you eat, you have fiber in it. Exactly. So the beans, the rice. So now you're helping you get it out your system. With traditional animal-based products, man, you can't, you can hardly digest that stuff. Exactly. So man. for me, that's why I always felt heavy mm -hmm. because I, it was so hard to digest steak, chicken, yeah, all man. of that. Yeah, <laughs> man, yeah. Just real. killing it, mm -hmm. and then it's just too hard to digest. So for my diet, um, I'm definitely not a strict, you know, because I'm not, you know, bodybuilding or anything. But just for for maintenance. Man, I eat a lot of things similar to him. Like, we made a burger last night. Mm -hmm. um, so our burger was pretty much made with, like, oats, uh, rice, mm. beans, and mushrooms. And wow. we put it in a food, food processor, and it come out like ground. It looks literally like ground meat. Yeah. And then you wow. make a patty, fry that bad boy, and you're ready to go. Question. Okay, so you say you tell you what you put into your burgers. Right. So what do you use as your binding agent for? Uh, yeah. For mm -hmm. your for your burgers, I, I use uh, arrowroot powder. Yeah, yeah. So arrowroot so, powder is good. These um, are these this, next level people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so arrowroot arrow powder probably is the best one. Yeah. Uh, but this one, I didn't. The mushrooms itself have out. Had yeah. Powder. Okay. But um, if I had to make them stick like that, it would be arrowroot because I okay. use that for cornbread. Okay. Okay. Cool. So cool, yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah. I was I just made burgers last week, right? And so I put when I I was rushing, man. It was like one in the morning. I, like, I just want to make these burgers, and so I, when I put in, I when I cooked my beans, I made like three dishes with the beans. I made my uh, black bean bowl. What I do with salsa, beans, uh, rice, and uh, broccoli, mm. and I also do That's mushroom good. and black bean <laughs> potato burritos for breakfast. Ooh, man. So yeah, wow. It's all gonna be in my cookbook. We gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yes, uh, and so when I, I made the beans. Too, the beans had too much moisture. And I'm like, ah, I could kind of get it out when I hit in the food processor. But what happens with that, when you put the uh, the onion, the celery, it's all the water. bell pepper, it has water. So water. One thing about uh, plant-based foods is like, it has a lot of water. So they say you should eat your water. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. it keeps you hydrated. And Definitely. so I was like, man, I'm rushing. I'm not going to be able to get this moisture out of these burgers. Absolutely. So I'm like, you know what? That's I'm going to have to make it do what it do then. So it was messy on that back, but normally I kind of drain all that out and just yeah. use the rest of the uh, the mushroom, I mean the uh, celery and the bell peppers and onions when it went out all the, mush, mu the, all the moisture mm -hmm. yeah. in it. So yeah, it was So messy. I didn't even cook my beans. I just, I just had, well, I had the canned beans. Okay. And so, but it didn't have a lot of moisture. And with the mushrooms... I cook them without oil to, to to get out rid of all the moisture. Yeah. So then when I put them in the food processor, it was pretty much dry. Yeah. I, I actually did. I was I was rushing, bro. I, yeah. I had to move on. But they came out. They came out really good. So pretty much every food, 
even like my wife is from Louisiana, and she we went to Baton Rouge for Thanksgiving. I'm like you, my family, you know, her family, my family, and they like they like what you was talking about. Man, we're gonna eat. Yeah. So right. I said, you know, to be true to who my who I am, they already know that they were plant based. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna make vegan etouffee. So you know, That's, if you're from yeah. Louisiana, you, you know, know where to go. Yeah. Where you know what it is. Right. So, 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 but I made etouffee with um, oyster mushrooms and yeah. um, and ve- the field roast uh, apple say sausage. Yeah. So I, I made it with that as the meat product. And then everything else was traditional. Yeah. Um, and man, it was slamming. People was just eating it. They was, See, bro? That's what I don't like, bro. They were eating it. I don't like that, bro. Right. Well, yeah, I made my I was, I was keeping guard over it. I was like, <laughs> oh, because you want to make it. I was, keeping, I was keeping guard over it. Yeah. I gave a sample. I gave a little cup. I said, you can sample it, but bruh. you got too much food over there. To be Nine my meters food. <laughs> are the most disrespectful people when yes. it comes to your food. Yes. They be like, ooh, this dip tastes good. Bro. And they kill it. Bro. So on, we had a New Year's <laughs> Eve party. And I'm going to let you get better. Bro, I made a spinach dip. My boy B, uh, Brandon, he part of Sweat Gym as well. He showed me this this recipe. So, man, I'm trying to, what do you think? Bomb. Bro, I made the dip. I said, well, I know y'all going to have food and everything at the party, so I'm going to bring my dip. I made me nice in the bowl, bro. Probably like, you know, uh, four cups enough. And bro, I said it's gonna be what I'm gonna eat on all, all night. Right. Bro, why I went in the kitchen, bro? My my dip gone. <laughs> but you got spinach dip with all this cheese on top, still sitting there fresh. That that food didn't get touched an hour after mine was gone. I'm like, come on, bro. Non vegans mad disrespect. Yeah, mad yeah, disrespect, yeah. Bro. I you definitely gotta walk. So that that makes a good segue for like Super Bowl parties and stuff. Oh like, yeah. What y'all doing? You doing anything like special? I'm, I, I'm chilling. You're chilling? Because I'm, chillin'? Chillin'? Like, I'm, 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 I'm real I'm big on my time. Yeah. Okay. Man. I'm real big, big on my time. So it's like, I I gave a football a, a year before going vegan. You gave up football? Yeah. Okay. So I gave it up probably two years before that. Time. Um, yeah, my time. I started seeing like these guys. This is when I first started my business, quitting corporate America. And I was like, what's keeping me from being successful like all these other people that became entrepreneurs? I was like, man. They putting their time into meaningful things. I started reading more. That's how I learned. Got big onto my vegan life as well. It's like I read more. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, football, if you think about it, we Three watch hours. football from 12 noon on to Sundays midnight. to like almost 10 p.m. Almost and on Saturdays, we do the same thing from 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night. So I was like, man, I'm losing so much time. Right. Let me focus on yeah. what else I'm going to do. So I'm, for the Super Bowl, man, it's going to be like a five-hour event. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I said, man, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably just uh, go to a baby shower. Man, I'm going to have my spinach dip. <laughs> <laughs> my spinach dip. Make a double bed. Yeah, you know, you know, Sometimes you, know. you got to keep a batch at home. Yeah, you do, right. bro. You have you to really keep you a duck really off batch. Exactly. I would say keep a duck off batch because people will kill your stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and so, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go home and I'm going to meal prep for the week. And then I'm going to go at halftime to catch the second half of the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's just too really bad. Yeah, that's, that's the only part. That's yeah, part. Yeah, 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 right. exactly. And if it's a blowout, I'm not even going to go. Right, right. Yeah. I think for us, man, we you know we're gonna we're gonna cook, um, but we're gonna cook like pizza. We're gonna make pizzas, vegan pizzas, uh, which that's we made, right, yeah. we, which we made, I think a couple weeks ago, and that was our first time making vegan pizza, and it was so oh, good. I, I did my, made my was, first one last. Oh, week. okay. So what cheese do y'all use? Because oh. I use Follow Your Heart mozzarella. Oh, I like that. One. I like that one. Well. I think I use I do use veggie like I think it's called veggie. I do that veggie one. And, uh, mozzarella. Daya. Oh, Daya. I know yeah, I do that yeah. one as well. Um, I use that cheese because I like to use the mozzarella mm-hmm. and the diet cheddar. Mm-hmm. And so, okay, the cheddar. What do you put on yours? Oh, so for me, I, I make the pizza sauce, traditional yeah, yeah. tomato paste and all that good stuff, basil, oregano. And then we put the mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella. We made our own unpepperoni pepperoni. Mm. Man, dude, slam it. Unpepperoni pepperoni. Out of Vita wheat gluten, red wine, soy sauce. But the Vita, like, you ever use Vita wheat? You, you've used Vita. Have you used Vita? Yeah. So you, so we made it um, spicy. Yeah. We roll it up. You make it into a, like a sausage. Bake it. Let it cool. Put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. Man, it slices just like pepperoni. Wow. So you seen what I posted? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was literally like pepper. And then we used the um, the the fennel seeds, the ground okay. fennel seeds wow. that give it flavor. Man, and red pepper. Yeah. So yeah, we did the pepperoni, and we used the. Um, the meatless crumbles. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah those are always good. Yeah, I mean, beat on that one. And, uh, right, red then, wine. Um, oh, yeah, man. it was good, cool. man. Then we just do traditional vegetables, mushrooms, peppers, That's jalapeno, like, stuff like that. The longer I've been doing this, like, my pizza game is like, anything can go on. Anything. Oh, yeah, anything. 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 I put, uh, 
Squash on there. Yes. Oh, oh man. Mike loves yeah, squash, on squash on there. Yeah, I put a squash on there, man. I put a Brussels sprouts, man. Yeah, yeah. Artichokes. Bro, that's, a quick, there, that's a quick way everything to get, everything get like, because we make the dough from scratch. So no, that's, that's a quick not. way to. Uh, scratch, man. Yeah, I mean, it's I really something. This is, this I, is flour. I need to get on that. Cold water. You let it, you know, and active yeast. You let it sit for like an hour. It rises. Yeah. Roll that bad boy. You know what? That's the same way we make our cinnamon rolls. Yeah, it's the okay, same right. way. I Man, use, that's crazy. Yeah. We make our cinnamon rolls from scratch. Yeah, so we normally make sweet potato cinnamon rolls <laughs> with sweet potato ice and oh my god, so good. Oh, we gonna have to chop <laughs> <top> it up. <laughs> we gonna have to chop it up on some of them. They got like next level stuff over here. But yeah, so the pizza went went down. We had we had some people come over. That was our first time making pizza. We made it in a um, cast iron skillet, so we had two cast irons going. And man, it came out really, really good. And we made uh, chicken, like chicken wings, out of seitan, our homemade yeah, seitan. Okay. Yeah. So seitan is not still... Satan, y'all. Like, <laughs> <"Tran line." laughs> like, S e i t a n. Like seitan, yeah. I'm part of weak gluten, yeah, a lot yeah. of other stuff. Yeah. And man, non-vegan killed our little chicken. Wow. Girl, I had like three bites. Bro, that's your man, man killed it. But it was all good because I love people. I love for people to get full and stuff. And do you tell? Do y'all tell people? Oh no, that I don't nobody's vegan. So when they that's come, what I, that's so what they I'm come saying. over house, that. just let them eat. When they it. come over house, they already know that we're vegan. So okay. we tell them. I mean, you're gonna eat vegan food, but we just don't tell them what's in it, and then they yeah. eat it. Now when we go places, we don't say anything. Mm -hmm. We just sit it out and then let somebody figure it out. Mm. Like we made some um, some barbecue uh, jackfruit sliders. Mm. Oh um, yeah, jackfruit the bomb. Oh, jackfruit the bomb. I made some things, bro. Man, people thought that was eating sloppy joe. Yeah, that's like, right. right. And we, nah, made, we made our own barbecue sauce out of dates and um, out of dates and peaches. And uh, we made our own barbecue mm. sauce, man. That is sweet though. Oh, dude. And, and then we we, we put some, mm. we made our own buns. Man, we just put brought them up to a. Um, and you need to get you a cookbook too. No, oh, I, I I use cookbooks, man. I, I use oh, you know, okay. I cookbooks you. just to just to, for people to so you can get some titles. Yeah. So, oh, um, oh man, you got all the yeah. good ones. Yeah, so I'm actually ordering now. Yeah, I got this one. Ordering now. Yeah. Right now. yeah. So this is the one. Oh, all about Brian. Taylor. My wife, okay. she hit me too when she was going um, pretty much vegan. Uh, yeah. And we yeah, show the people. Yeah, show the people. This is so that's Forks Over Knives. Forks Over Knives. They have a documentary too that's really good on Netflix. So my wife hit me to this when she was going. Um, then when she went pregnant, she was pretty much vegan the whole time. And so this was a really good. This was good, a good book. Uh, this is a. This guy here is really dope. I like him. So he has a lot of good product. Very really clean, clean eating. So I love him. He got some really good stuff. This is probably my favorite sweet potato soul. Oh yeah, she okay. she sweet has some really good soul recipes. I follow her. Has hey, um, some bomb recipes. Can y'all see that? Sweet okay. potato yeah. soul. Sweet. Yeah. You see those on uh, man? Those those cauliflower. Chicken. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. man, Thanks, those are good. Thanks, She's out of Los Angeles, I think. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's another one from Brian Terry, Afro vegan, a lot of Caribbean type stuff. It's okay, really cool. I like that one. Y'all, this is plenty. probably one of my favorite too. My wife had got us this the vegan pantry. This is where I got the unpepperoni pepperoni out of here. Oh, and, but this is how, this is how. To look at that. This one here. This is how you make pretty bread. much everything from scratch. Oh, okay. You make your own tofu from scratch. You make everything from wow. scratch with this book right here. So oh, that's, see, that's the down. next level, though. Yeah, that's, that's the next down. level. So we, we pretty good. much use all these cookbooks. We kind of mix mix stuff with our own flavor. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the base stuff comes from things yeah, from cookbooks and, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and recipes we found online and stuff like that. But yeah. these are kind of like our base. Our that's bases. what's up, man. I'm going to take yeah. a picture. Every, every, yeah, yeah, we're going to take a picture of one yeah, of these. Yeah. I, I yeah. have that one already. Um, the forks over knives. The only one I have is, you know, Bam's Vegan. Yeah. From uh, farmer, the farmer's market, I got his ebook mm -hmm. and a couple of other like small ebooks, and then uh, Dr. Bobby Price is like a legit I saw that book. I, uh, it just came. Oh, in, uh, education of a medication. Yeah. He has several. He's super clean, so like right, you right, gotta right. be like for real about the, the raw vegan stuff. He's like a raw vegan type, type guy, mm -hmm. but he has uh, recipes and yeah, he has a herbal detox he does. So I got his book too. But yeah, mm -hmm. these all seem like some like I definitely want to check from him and yeah, two head of soul some, out for sure because I like like this. These kind of food. Sure I know I'm gonna get yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think we hit on with protein. You can do lots of beans. You can yeah. do your good grains like, uh, what's up, cuz? Raheem, how you doing, fam? <laughs> uh, you got, yeah, you got beans, you got wild rice, mm -hmm. you got brown rice, you got quinoa. Quinoa is one of the most versatile Oof. 
thing. I mean, taco. Yeah, well, 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 you can't forget about your chickpeas, bro. Oh, yeah, chickpeas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, You love chickpeas. Chickpeas is like the star of like a lot of my meals, especially when it comes to like chilies and stuff like that. Yeah, chickpeas yeah. is definitely chickpeas it. Is but what's another way like with protein? I did like doing oh, oh, salads. Can salads give you protein? Matt. You can because it's, it's plant like it's plant, you're, okay. you're protein in everything. Man. Yeah, yeah. Everything plant is just protein. Mm -hmm. It's about the amount, you know. Yeah. And why I tell people sometimes, don't go so heavy on the salads because people be like, oh man, I'm just I want to lose weight, so I'm going to just eat, eat salads. salads. Right. So yeah. That's the yeah. worst way to go because you what be happens so to your bored. digestive system? You do get bored. You do get bored. Uh, it be, become bland. There's so many. There's only so many ways you could make a salad. Exactly. Salad. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so uh, yeah. your your, meta your metabolism becomes. Uh, Stagnant. Yeah. Uh, you need to change it up some. That's why I make every week. I do like different types of meals. I do. Uh, sometimes I add soy into my food one week, and then the next week, like this week, I had completely no soy in anything. Oh, everything was to Oh uh, yeah. So uh, and so I switch it up, and I always say tell people like eat the rainbow too. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to have color, color, man. Yeah, eat, no, putting a variety of colors color. helps with digestive heart uh, heart yeah. health, uh, immune system. All of that. So uh, I was just don't go heavy on salads. You got to okay. get out there. You need to experiment. You, experiment. you need to kind of test some things out. Read. Like, you know, yeah. hit up some of these people on Instagram or yeah. Facebook because they will love to give you information. There's one thing about vegans. Uh, they like a new like, thing. Hey, yeah. Like, hey, you know, yeah. they're like, hey, you can do this. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. You know, and you, you have some vegans who are real aggressive. Uh, yeah, you might like, be careful with that. You like to have some people like, you're going to die by eating meat. Right. And I was like, I didn't do uh, yeah. plant based to. Uh, like for the environment, I'll be honest. I no. did it for my health. I did it for my health. It was for my health. I, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go on record and say that, at least from my perspective as a black person, I think most black people when they go into plant base, it's, it's, health. it's probably it's health because, health because of health. all the stuff that's in our genes and yeah, they right, say right. it's in our, our history, hereditary our history. history. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I don't exactly. believe nothing is hereditary as far as illnesses. Our right. habits are hereditary. Habits. We pick up the same same habits. Eating habits. They say no. Why we eating chitlins? We eat chitlins. Man, man, come on, man. Man, man. Don't even get me started, man. So I always say, man, change it up. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend uh going all salads. Okay. No, I wouldn't do that. You won't be vegan long. I, I think yeah. you made a really good point about making bowls. Yeah, like, yeah. you can make bowls, bowls man. Yeah. They, they, they can be really, really hearty. And you can put so much so many different things in them. Like you said, you said you put artichokes, man, yeah, you bro, put bro, beans, man. I bought rice. beans, rice, my broccoli, my yeah. salsa. Sometimes I just want to do so bro, check this out. So pumpkin seeds. You have uh, spinach, oh, yeah, arugula, you have sweet potatoes. Uh, I do like a glaze. Um, uh, ah, what's the name of this uh, sweetener? Freaking agave? Yes, agave. Yeah, agave. Uh, uh, I have fennel seeds. Fennel I have seeds uh, uh, and, uh, Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Put that in the bowl, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you, hit, and you pretty much hit everything. Oh, cut up, dice up. Uh, Avocado, bro. Oh, you're gonna be man. like, man, this thing's so good, yeah. bro. You be so full of that. I like yeah. when you can combine yeah. all the different flavors together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Check this out, though. You know what gets me? People are like, man, vegan food ain't got no flavor. Man, please. Bro, everything that you, <laughs> I tell you, man, everything please. you season your chicken with, we season is from the plants. Yeah. So I'm like, why is you tripping? Herbs and spices. Herbs and spices. spices. You, uh, they well, make a lot of modified. I don't know what they put in. Well, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So that old school season, yeah, right, yeah, and that's that one, that all in one. That all in so you gotta think, people. Uh, if you put onions, being from New Orleans, everything we put in our food was like onions, celery, celery bell, pepper. bell pepper. We yeah. just about that's the, the base, over. man. That's, that's the, the base, man. You gotta. That's have how you make everything. your room, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. That's right. So you having yeah. that? I mean, like, if people go out and buy these sauces and everything. That has modified flavor, yes. all these artificial flavors right. to create the same flavor that these right, right, vegetables right, right. will give you. Absolutely. So I'm like, man, y'all just take your time, not be impatient, just do a little learning. Mm -hmm. You'll get all these tips that you already have within right. you. You just gotta go back to the basics and put your flavor from real food. Yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Anything to add? Um, oh, for protein, yeah. I would say um, tofu. I mean, I yeah, do eat yeah, tofu. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a soy thing, too. Yeah, so I do eat tofu. I do eat tempeh. Okay. Um, yeah. So those are some staples. Um, but um, we've used tofu in a variety of ways in all different types of, like, firm, soft, um, uh, the silken. We normally use the silken for uh, eggs. Like, okay. they, they I make, like, like the um, eggs, yeah. So we, we don't, we use the tofu and we use this, um, 
This egg seasoning, it's all, I forgot the name of it now. God, hey, you remember the name of that egg? Tofu scramble. But it's pretty much made out of um, like black salt, um, uh, nutritional yeast, and some other seasoning. And it tastes, man, it has an eggy taste. And you it, and you just cook the tofu in it. And man, it's like, you got bomb eggs right there. Wow. Man, I made eggs, my tofu scramble the first time uh, in November. Blew my mind. Yeah. So, so I said, man, you know what? I like breakfast because I make my own pancakes. So no, I was like, man, you don't want to put something with the pancakes. I got tired of doing uh, potatoes with my pancakes. So I said, let me go back. I'm about to go make me some eggs. And so I was like, I didn't like too many other places, tofu scramble. I was like, it didn't have no, that, that eggy feel. No, and I, like, I didn't like it. Yeah. Bruh, somebody put me on game. They said, bro, put cauliflower in it. I'm mm. like, really? So I had a head of cauliflower. I boiled the cauliflower. Mm. Uh, kind of get a little bit firmer, and so in like the texture was real good. And so I boiled it for about ten minutes. Take it out, chop it up. I got firm tofu. Mm -hmm. Squeeze as much moisture out of it as I can. Break it down, and then I put turmeric on. It. Yeah, turmeric gives so it color. Yeah. Mix it all together. Cut up my onions, celery, bell pepper. <laughs> I, I put that in everything, dog. And I made it. And you cook it, and I only cook put the uh, mushrooms. In it when I'm ready to prepare it, yeah, I don't yeah, want the mushroom yeah. sitting in the bowl with yeah. the moisture. Mm -hmm. So I put it. I put when I cook, prepare it. I'm mm -hmm. like, man, when you eat, it's like, bro, it tastes just like eggs. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that it's not real eggs, bro. Yeah. I mean, you be like, like this is really good. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so I made my bacon with uh, the firm tofu, uh, the, the uh, seitan. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, get a uh, a knife. I slice it and have these strips. You soy sauce. Uh, yeah. it, uh, you use liquid smoke? Yeah, liquid smoke is good. I use this thing called uh, ah, misu, misu, misu. Oh, misu. Oh, misu. Yeah, red or, or, yeah. or white misu. Misu. That's good too. Uh, soy sauce, a hot sauce, uh, and a sweet and sour sauce. Mm. And I put it all this low sodium, uh, and so I mix it all together and I soak it in it for about twenty minutes. Put it in the oven and then I get it out when I flip it. I kind of base it with another stroke oh, of the salt. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven so for another good. 20 minutes. Man, I take it out. Bro, when I tell you that breath is be bomb, bro. Ooh, man, I, need I need to open up a restaurant. Dog. So this is what you know, have to. So I already told him that I need to, we need to like coordinate some food, <laughs> potluck. Man, what's Absolutely. crazy? Check this out, though. Because I don't know. When I went vegan, I did a vegan tasting. Like we had a whole spread of vegan food. And we missed it last year, just life happening and everything that took for, for me. And so, but this year, this summer, we bringing it back. It's the vegan taster. You like come you? Out. Yeah. Yeah, I put it on. Oh, you put it on. Yeah. You like cook everything? Oh, you yeah, cook? we cook everything. My oh, boy, my Brandon, then. he cooks as well. Oh, okay, oh, so okay. like, man, so like, because he, he was a uh, vegetarian growing up. Mm -hmm. And so he dabbles a lot. He'll be a few months, he'll be vegan. Yeah. He'll go back to vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, sometimes he may eat meat, but when he's on it, he's like, when he doesn't travel, He's plant based, and so he helped out, made a couple meals. Uh, well, another friend of ours that moved away, she made a couple meals. She made this bean, bean quesadillas. Bam, bro. Oh, she gotta see that recipe. Dude, it was out the chain, bro. And so we do this. We, bro, we brought everybody out. They came out, tried. We invited people, mm -hmm. strangers. Like, hey, if you want to try, come out. Man, when I tell you that food got toe up, bro. Bro, I was like, y'all talking about John won't play. Right, right. I'm right. telling you, man, just open people's minds. I do. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm, I'm talking about like just getting several different people like that are already vegan, just friends yeah. of ours, and like just doing, just more oh, yeah, that kind yeah, of, yeah, just building that community. You know, that'd yeah. be good. Yeah. So let's see. We got we talked about the myths about protein. We covered you know different ways to get your protein. Um, with the soy thing though, so oh, you yeah. you mentioned you know the tofu yeah. and all that. So my thing is when you do a lot of the faux meats and the soy products, you know, you hear two different camps. You'll hear as long as it's the non-GMO, you know, organic, the right. sourcing of your soy, then it's fine. Because I think in the Game Changers documentary, they're they're like pro soy in yeah. that, yeah, and they're yeah. talking about like phytoestrogen and all yeah, this kind of yeah. stuff. So like, like it's not even enough. Like we get that a lot. Like oh, you eat soy, it's estrogen. Right. Because so, so for know. men, we you know we don't want to get. Apparently, so we, we all men and women have like a balance of yeah. soy, I mean, uh, estrogen and testosterone. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I think it's a little more in men on one end and yeah. a little more in women on the other. But we both yeah. have that in us. Yes. Yeah. So what would you guys say to like those questions about like soy, you know, should you limit that or can you do it on a regular basis? Like what is your position on that mm. as a trainer? Yeah. Sure. I mean, for me, I just don't think, I don't think soy has enough estrogen to do anything. 
Okay. To be honest, like, okay. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll affect you to the point that now you have feminine <laughs> type right, of things. Right, 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 right. I don't right. believe it has right, that right. much. And I'm, I agree, you want to get your sword, to, like you would for even me. Yeah, you want to get from yeah. the, from a good source. Like yeah. You don't want to get like crazy sword. So that would be my two things. I don't know about, about you. Man, I, I think it's cool. I'd say uh, do it in moderation. Yeah, yeah in moderation. moderation you do, yeah. I wouldn't recommend you doing it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, right, snacks. Right, 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 right. You know, I only recommend people that I train that aren't plant-based. I tell them, don't eat meat in every single meal that you do. Right, I right. was like, man, you need it, like, being plant based, I'm like it's cool during the soil. I'm like it's okay, as long as you're not out there eating like like I call it the trash food, yeah, trash, like the nachos, junk food, all yeah, that, yeah, the junk food stuff like yeah. that. And but if you're eating it and then you're getting a lot of fiber in your system, like you're getting a lot of just greenery, mm-hmm. like your digestive system is working. Mm-hmm. Breaking down soil is fine. I ain't got no boobies. I got yeah, chest. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like right, it's cool. Right. I do I, like I do uh, soy in about two of my meals out, out of the five. One week, and then the next week is all plant based. Mm-hmm. Like it's just all, it's no soy in it at all. Uh, and so I go back and forth like yeah, that just forth. to keep my digestive system, right. uh, just working and, and yeah. uh, keep it moving, and yeah. have my metabolism not to uh, become stagnant. Okay. It's always burning. You know, mm-hmm. like wow. that. Yeah. So I wouldn't even the soy thing. I think it's a, just a, it's yeah, I think it's a good con- It's a good conversation to have, but it's not. It's just not enough stock in it to get. But there's more. Like, you know, there's more chemicals they put in the food that is right. not plant based, and not exactly. soy, that's affecting people chemically, psychologically, mm-hmm. and you no know, sexually. Sex, sexually yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, we ain't gonna go that deep because I would be off the deep end. Right. But I'm like, that's a that's a whole nother topic because I'm like, more people that aren't plant based are being affected by the chemicals that's in food that's affecting them. Uh, sexually and mentally, physically. So right, it's like, right, right. Yeah. It's like well, I I know because I know you have some that are with the whole alkalinity thing. Like there's the uh, alkal there's alkaline vegan camp. Yeah, that's like I haven't even got into that. Yeah, no, they they no, like no. next level. So like they they talk about the Beyond Meat because like the Beyond Meat, oh, the Impossible yeah. Meat is is oh, real popular. Man. But they talk about you know what you guys have to understand too is with anything that you eat or consume, the less ingredients they have in it, the better. If you got a bunch of words in it that you can't pronounce, <laughs> yeah, that's basically yeah, a good indication. Yeah. You put. So when they talk about Beyond Me, they're like, do you know what's all in it? Because I just ate a Beyond Burger last night, but I don't know. Like, I don't feel like having it every now and then is going to be an issue. But there's a camp out there that's like, well, y'all eating Beyond Meat and y'all eating Impossible Meat and you're eating all these other soy products. You know, that's still got a lot of chemicals in it that's doing doing harm to you. So mm-hmm. that's you why always, I bring it up. You're always going to have, like, no matter in anything that you do, man, uh, the fitness industry, the health industry, you're always going to have people that's going to say, we're better than you. Exactly. Right. Uh, exactly. Because right. when, when yeah. I went vegan, then it's like, oh. You're uh, not all the way you, vegan. Yeah, you said, you ain't raw vegan. <laughs> right. I said, no. I said, you can't. Somebody straight up told me, you can't call yourself a vegan if you're not raw vegan. I say, Ron, I'm vegan. What you going to do now? Right. Like, you you can't tell me you're better than me because I choose not to follow your way. Right, like, right, right. That's all that alkaline vegan, raw vegan, all that. Uh, what's the other one they was telling me about? All these people like, bro, they're just in competition with each other. <laughs> Somebody just wants to be better than the next person, bro. You eat plant based, you vegan. Right. Plain and simple. Right. 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 Exactly. All that alkaline stuff. All around, I'm like, bro, eat the way you want because you. The best way to stick with any lifestyle, any diet is having. Food, familiar that food that you can stick with. Right. So if you trying to if you try to change your lifestyle to a way someone's trying to force you to be, mm-hmm. bro, like no, nah, you still gonna, yeah, it's not going to be good. You won't enjoy it, and yeah. you're going to be miserable. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, so uh, what would you guys recommend? So we talked about the different body types as far as like you know the building muscle part. So we got to the protein. So we talked about myths. Uh, what would you guys recommend as far as like how to gain muscle on different body types? Like for a person that's, let's just use ourselves as an example. And y'all can kind of like use, you know, me, then yourself, and yourself. Like, what's the best way to build and tone? Mm, it's, it's, it's customizable. <laughs> yeah, you got to say another So, when I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and please back me up because you, you're doing it currently. So, when I'm thinking with a body type like that, it's always going to be about calories. Okay. It's always going to be about calories. No matter what you eat, it's going to be about okay. calories. Then it's going to be about the type of calories you put in. Yeah. So you got the calorie amount and, then and the good quality. Fats, right? Yeah, good, you got good, good fats. Yeah. So, and the quality of calories. Then you start looking at, okay, what's my macronutrient pro- profile? Mm-hmm. And, and my, what percentage of protein, what percentage of carbs, what percentage of fat? Traditionally, it's like a 40 30 30. That's normally 40% protein, 30% fat, 30%. I mean, forty percent carbs, thirty percent protein, thirty percent. Can you say that one more time? So forty percent carbs. So a lot of people they start to stay away from carbs. But okay. if you're small, you can <laughs> up. 
I can need all right, right, right. You right. need the e-card. Cars need your best friend. Yeah. Right. Cars are literally your best friend, especially yeah. around, around your workout windows. So before, during, after is when your body is really using those carbs. Mm -hmm. So carbs and then fat. You need good fats. Like you mentioned avocado and all yeah, those type of yeah, things. Yeah, avocado really is good. number one. And protein, you just don't need a lot. Yeah. So that's why, you know, yeah, the bro. traditional um, will be like a 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat. And then you modify it from there per body type. So um, so for you, it would definitely mean you would need more carbs. More carbs. Because yeah. carbs are going to fill you. They're going to give you energy. Because you're going to burn a lot of energy if you're small. Mm -hmm. Typically, small people, they are churners, man. They just churn. Yeah, just <laughs> just they just, eat just eat churn. Eat. Yeah. So oh. they just need a lot of carbs. Bigger people, like for me, I gain I gain fat really easily. Mm -hmm. So I have to be carb conscious. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, so my macronutrient profile will probably be a little bit more down. I'll probably go 30% carbs. I won't move them completely because once you start doing that, I mean, you would know from bodybuilding, yeah. like carb depletion and stuff like that. That's yeah. a whole nother camp that mm -hmm. I, it's not for another day. Mm -hmm. But I would say um, the lowest I would ever go is like 30%. But um, just mainly because of all the benefits from carbs. And then I would do protein, still a small amount, and then good fats. Um, so it's really about the body type. But you, it's also, it's just so unique to each person. Yeah. And then it takes time for them to be in that current diet, mm -hmm. for them to even see, see the results. See the yeah, results. Yeah, or, yeah. Because some, sometimes people quit the program too fast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they'll do it for three it weeks, and they'll be days, like, bro. yeah, they do it for three weeks. You gotta do six, six man. So, like, you know, I used to always tell my clients at least six weeks. Like, yeah. I would be like, at least six weeks, stick to it. So you can see, we can see where you are and then how to modify exactly, it. Exactly. So yeah. that'll be, that'll be, that'll be my first initial comments. But, exactly. But, but yeah. I totally agree with you saying, man, because yeah. I'm a carb fanatic. Bro. Yeah, me too. You can't wait. If somebody tell me don't eat carbs, I'll slap. Exactly. Right, I, right, right, carbs, I do need man. carbs. Think about it. I, I burn a lot of energy because I'm always, I'm hyperactive, bro. I right. cannot sit still. So <laughs> as you can see, I'm jumping around in the seat. Right. So for me, bro, I lift my best. I'm at my strongest. Carb. I carb up heavy in the yeah, morning. Absolutely. Bro, I'm up and I eat beans, rice, tortillas. Like, bro, I'm eating a whole bunch of things. I'm probably getting about, uh, Maybe every morning I'm getting about like 70 grams of carbs in my That's good, my man. And so, but when I hit the gym, bro, it's all power. You can ask my boy Ian. We up here lifting on Sunday lifts, man. It's like we up here 400 pounds. They're like, bro, this dude plant-based. But you just living because I'm I'm, so, I'm like, I'm carved up. And that's why I call it I'm carved up because what it is, carbs give you energy. Mm -hmm. People talk about something, don't eat carbs. Yeah, I'm like, don't eat carbs, man. If you don't do carbs, you're going to be depleted with energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're not going to have that extra oomph to go. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people like to use protein as their source of energy. Oh, okay. Their body got to break down the protein and take that, mm -hmm. uh, that sugar to give you that fuel. Yeah, I yeah. don't like doing it like that. Yeah, yeah, I always yeah. say, man, you carb up early. For anybody, whether no any any diet that oh, you're on, yeah. I would say, man, you need to have carbs early. Mm -hmm. You can cut your, if you're trying to lose weight, cut your carbs in the evening. You know, okay. yeah, so do do strictly vegetables or you know lean protein stuff like that. And then so right, carb so carb in the morning yep, and, yeah. and no carbs in the evening if you yeah, try to cut it. Yeah, yeah. So because okay. so you're gonna go to sleep and you want to make sure yeah, you, you can burn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. The body's no, always burning calories, right. and so for me, it's like personally. I want, when I'm building in the wintertime, I mean, I'm carving up from probably 6 a.m., 5 a.m. to about 6 p.m. I'm mm -hmm. doing heavy carbs, little proteins, little fats, uh, but I'm doing a bunch of carbs because I know how my workouts go. Mm -hmm. And so for a client or someone like you, I would be like, I want you to carve up, like, probably put the same first time when you work, as soon as you wake up, get some carbs in you, a lot of water, uh, do a lot of fiber for lunch. But carbs as well, because now you want that body to start breaking out. Aren't fruits carbs? Uh, yes, yeah, so there's, yeah, there's different types of carbs as well. Okay, okay. But uh, you don't want the bad carbs. The empty yeah. carbs, it's like the empty calories. Yeah, okay, okay. Like okay. Chips and all yeah, that. Yeah, so okay, that's right. empty calories. Like, so, like I said, when, for me to get my size back, it took me six months. And so that took me eating beans and rice, beans and tortillas, pasta, a bunch of grainy uh, meals, and I learned, like, oh, I'm starting to gain weight. Mm -hmm. But I also saw, like, depending on my workouts, if I got lazy one week, mm -hmm. like, I want to let the gym two times that week, oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, my body's like, say, rap, play, boy. <laughs> we ain't burning these carbs out. So yeah, it's like, right. so, like, now in the wintertime from October to January, it's, like, carb like crazy. Mm -hmm. January here, I start pulling back on some of the carbs. But I start, like, I cut carbs probably, like, at 4 p.m., it's like I'm doing a lot of fiber, 
uh, if I do smoothies, you're still gonna be getting carbs. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. Weight, you're still, yeah, you're still getting carbs in it. You try to try to do as minimal carbs as possible. Um, and so I say go that route if you're trying to put on some size. Yeah. And it really comes about comes about your workout. Okay. So if you lifting, uh, and you probably can attest to this, what well, people that's lifting like I work out every day. Yeah, but they're not. You they're not, not maxing, lifting, bro. They're not, not maxing. Lifting. You got to max, right? The body yeah. will take. Will the body will adapt to any stress you put on. Wow. So say you say you up in the gym and we worked out one time. I showed you a workout. I said, man, I right, I'm not, I don't need a trainer no more. I had my one workout. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go do this myself. Mm -hmm. You do that exact same workout mm -hmm. four days a week. Mm -hmm. Three weeks from that day that mm -hmm. you start, you're going. Your body's gonna have to work out twice as harder to maintain the adaptation that you gain. Mm -hmm. Because now your body like, well, I'm not. I don't have a, a greater stress, so I don't have a reason to adapt. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna regress. Mm -hmm. And instead of getting hypertrophy. Now you like you like oh man I'm losing my gains because you're not pushing yourself you and the only way you're gonna be able to to maintain is about the way you perform your work. Absolutely, you That's gotta right. push yourself to, to maintain. Because you, I think you gotta like confuse the muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yes, do, yes, you, yes. you gotta variety. always change up your workout mm -hmm. uh, style. It's like I do a lot of strength training. I do a lot of flexibility and stability training. People hate that, but see, what it does, it causes you the, uh, the neuromuscular efficiency where your body starts to recruit muscles that we don't normally work. So I do a lot of single leg exercises, a lot of focus on the core, a lot of focus on the glutes because people that deal with low back pain, they're like, I don't know why my back hurts because the glutes are so weak. You people stand up That's like true. this. You're lifting That's with true. your back. You're not lifting with your butt. Wow. It's all about wow. your glutes, bro. So wow. it's like, it's, a, it's truly a science and a... You got to go deep within it to kind of get that body that you so desire yeah. to really have the benefits mm -hmm. of it. But so many people want to rush it. They want to rush it. They don't want to take those results. steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, so it's all about the workout, how you do your workout, and how you eating post and pre-workout like that. So after my workout, I go straight into my uh, peanut butter banana shake. Yeah, you need I those, put my, I put my spirulina, spirulina and wheatgrass in it. And I do that. Man, these people yeah. are next. Wow. Yeah, so it's like, it, like, it's like I want to record stuff. like a six weeks of like me making my food and show my people how strict, how, like, how disciplined you need to be to look like this. Because people are like, oh man, you've been looking like that. But I'm like, man, this requires work. We have yeah. to keep it a certain, yeah. But I think I like what you said, man. And just to add to that, is that it's a great benefit in literally hiring a personal trainer. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes yeah. in our community, we try to shy away from it. And there, and is there also some trainers get a bad rap because they, they abuse it. Yeah. If you find a good personal trainer that's educated, uh, yes. that can teach you how to teach you those different things about how to eat and how to work out. Because yeah. sometimes people go and work out and they're not really working out to their max ability. And yeah. they don't have a good design to the workout. Exactly. So you can't, you, like you said, talked about stability. Not too many people are going to go in there and just do stability work. Exactly. They'll just go in there and start lifting. But lifting. stability work is the first thing. It's the foundation exactly. to you get into hypertrophy. Like you mm -hmm. need stability. Mm -hmm. And so hiring mm -hmm. a trainer, I would advise anyone, if you don't, if you are not experienced, find a, a good personal trainer. Just find a good one that can educate you on how to... You don't have to stay with a personal trainer for five years. Exactly, right. man. Right. The trainer's whole responsibility is to fire you as quickly as possible. Exactly, and Get you bro. educated, get you going, and so you can move on and start yeah. doing your thing. So get a personal trainer. To repeat the um, percentages again, oh, yeah, yeah, the percentages. Uh, just a traditional, just baseline, I would just say 30% protein, 40% carbs, and 30% fat. Good fats. You can't just have crazy fat. Yeah. And then you customize it based on your body type, but you... For that, you really need to work either with a nutritionist or a trainer. Yeah. Um, I don't, you know, just modify it on your own. It's a lot of stuff on the internet, but a lot of you, times... You be overwhelmed. <laughs> you be overwhelmed. It could be like, overwhelmed. Oh, too much information overload. And then you're yeah. like, I'm going back to eating meat. Right. 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 And, right. And, keep that, and keep that going for some weeks. And you really don't know if you, if you are doing it correctly unless you're disciplined. Mm -hmm. Like, exactly. if you do it for six weeks and you've only really done the diet for, like, two days within those six weeks yeah. every week, you really don't know if it's doing anything. Right. Right. But if you got a trainer, they gonna know they if you ain't doing it. Like, hey, right. these numbers ain't looking right. right. Your effort ain't looking right. right. So like, clearly, I know you're doing right. something wrong. Absolutely. And if you're looking for a trainer, gotta right. shout out the gym. Yes. Come yes. to sweat right. to the trainer, baby. You can find Bravo. You can find <laughs> David up in that in Body by NJ yeah. on Instagram. You can find, look up Hector Vasquez, great trainer if you want to do some yeah. boxing. And we have Brandon Paraway. You can look all these guys up yeah. on Instagram. They're great trainers. I like 
how he was talking about find your good trainer. Good I'm training. not going to BS you. We got some dope trainers here. Like yeah. we all focus about the basics. Uh, we all do an assessment of to see like what you need, what conversations that you have. Mm -hmm. We're going to correct those conversations. So you can't be upset. If a trainer doesn't look out for you trying to correct the things that may lead to injury, you don't want that trainer. Absolutely. So take the time, learn, get the knowledge, because we'll set you up for success. So when you leave, you could go help a family member who probably can't afford us. You'll go help someone else yeah. who's probably who can't reach us. So therefore, mm -hmm. you're going to be a reflection of us to go help someone else out there by the knowledge that we feed into you. Yeah. So go and check out Sweatbox and Train. You can get them on these workouts. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you. Are there any other questions out there? I see some comments. Hey, Jamie, thank I'm you blind. for the... Yeah, thanks for the uh, <laughs> shout out there. Yes, yes. We'll oh, go back up. Um, and also, real quick, for carbs, as you look at that, man, one thing, carbs keep you focused because carbs Bro. helps your brain. Okay, now we're going to talk about that. So what I went through when I started going through that right? depression. emotions. Yes. So when I lost all that weight and I, like, didn't know what to do, Bro, I was depressed. I was like, I couldn't focus. I was like, man, yeah. I, Cars I, can't, I can't read. I'm like, I felt like I was losing my. I was like, bro, I was really confused and like, I was like, man, I feel weird. Like, I am put some person out there. I was like, dog, do I want to go jump off a cliff or something? <laughs> bro, I was really like, I was lost in the mind. I'm like, what's happening? And that's when I learned about I needed to eat more cars yeah. and stuff like that. So I was like, bro, it's so serious. Yeah. Like, if you're going to do this. Get some information. Talk to people who know what they're doing yeah. because you're going to need it. It'll help you skip a lot of the pitfalls that I went through right. uh, and a lot of things that you can avoid just to get you on a good path of reaching that goal. Yeah. You got to stick with it. And, yeah. and I will add, too, if you want to build muscle, you can't be all cardio. You're going to have yeah. to. Yeah, you can't You're going to have cardio. to do resistance yeah. training. Typically, resistance training. when I was a trainer, a lot of times I saw this in a lot of females, to be honest. Females would traditionally just do cardio they'll yeah. be afraid of weights with the myth that i'm gonna get bulky that's just not that's just a myth no. that's not true um so if you want to build muscle you're gonna have to do some form of resistance training mm -hmm. yeah. some form of whether that be body type body weight, yeah, uh, body weight bands weight. weight whatever it is you're gonna have to do some type of resistance training to build those muscles you can't you know you just working on a treadmill mm -hmm. which i do not recommend working on elliptical i don't recommend if you're gonna do any cardio machine I would say do the stepper. I know you're going to say that. You're going to say that. You got to do the stepper, and that's probably about, that's probably about the only machine that I or a bike. But I would say the stepper first. Yeah. Um, um, without a doubt. Anything yeah. else, just kind of stay away from. Or you're going to use your own body. Yeah. Because a lot of those treadmills, all those things, you're not using all your body. Nah, but your, your, your muscles. So you want to use something like that. So definitely resistance training. Do not just strictly do cardio and mm -hmm. think you're going to maintain yeah. or build muscle. I that's think good. Instagram is helping with that misconception that you want to stay away from weights if you're a woman because you see a lot of these fit chicks on there yeah. that's like legit mm -hmm. work out <laughs> right. like they're not like those bodies made in the lab right, like right. They, don't, they don't look weird yeah, it yeah, looks nice looks on, on, yeah. they got yeah. chicks out here that really yeah. lift and yeah. i think people, more women are coming uh into that mindset like you know i need to lift weights right. they're excited yeah. about lifting weights right. and right. so like like i said i'm not a fan of cardio at all if we doing cardio is with you doing a hit circuit. Yeah, exactly. Doing right. like, lifting. Exactly. You yes. gonna be lifting. Hit training. Yes. Yeah. Hit training. If anybody know me, they know Bravo crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so that I'm like, you gotta lift that. Like I High talked about the, uh, oh, what's your name? That plug right there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I always tell people like, you know, you have to do that resistance because of yeah. like, if you want to build any muscle, like I said, if your body gonna need to. Gonna take the well only adapt to that stress that's that greater stress. Absolutely. So you gotta do that resistance training. You gotta have resistance. You wanna be fine as wine yeah. in that gym. Put it <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you just from experience, my you know, my my, uh, <laughs> I should have been a like my, uh, <laughs> my wife, she was she was pretty much vegan uh before and she was you know, I was a trainer. We have a home gym that's kinda of decked out. So she was just going there and work while she was pregnant. She lived. She didn't stop lifting until she was nine months. I mean, she, she, bro, I, I, she, she lived the right she, way. So you know, at the beginning, you know, she, she could, she could, she was still doing a lot of compound lifts, deadlifts. She was clean, doing all that stuff. As she progressed in her, um, in the pregnancy, she started to kind of tone down a lot of that stuff. Yeah. She started moving to more dumbbells. Then eventually, she moved to more bands. Yeah. And then at the end, when she was in that ninth month, all she did was really just walk. Like she yeah. did power walking and all that. So she lived through the whole pregnancy. And she gained 15 pounds. I yeah. mean, she literally gained 15 pounds. Within three weeks, it was, I mean, no. she was done. You got to keep so it going. So that working throughout, I mean, that resistance training helps you. And so. And she was, another thing is, especially for women, me and pregnant, 
um, it helped her through labor. Her yeah, whole, her whole body was used yeah. to this. Like, her whole strength. mindset yeah. was like, how how do I get strong from labor? Yeah. yeah. So she did a lot of pelvic stuff, a lot of different See, exercises. Yeah. That's smart. So when she was time to give labor, man, all natural, just she just she did it, you know. Oh, um, yeah. Boom. But that was like she did spiritual training, she did physical training. Oh, that's all a part all, of it, bro. All right. those different things leading up and during the pregnancy, man. Um, and that was really from plant based eating and, and working out. Yeah. So. Man. So I, I, I mean, I can testify to the yeah. benefits of uh, the benefits of that. I got one more question. It says, "How many days a week are recommended for resistance training?" Mm. So for me, I would say a, this oh, is my mom, by the way. Okay. So she, oh, hey, hey, hey mama. mom. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she, hey, mom. So she, so, she's like, you know, five, two, five, three. Small. Oh, if you don't mind asking, my what's <laughs> age? Fifty. I, oh, okay. she's good. Yeah. I, so good. <laughs> she good. I, how old are you? Thirty. How old are you? I'm Thirty-three. Yeah. How old are you? I'm forty-one. What well, you look good, man? Those bags, man. It's all the plants. Man. It's, it's all the plants, plants, man. Uh, I would say for her, I would say uh, three to four times a week. That's good. I work out six, seven days a week because I train. I take right. my rest days as if I did chest, back, mm -hmm. biceps, tries. My legs was resting those days. Yeah. Okay. So all right, so all right, at least time to go back. And right. So of course I'm at that point where I'm like I'm trying to get that peak performance in my fitness, and so it's like I don't take days off because it keeps me out of doing other foolish things mm -hmm. if I'm in the gym. There you go. And there so, but for her, I'm like, hey, uh, and plus people have lives, so I would say three to four times mm -hmm. minimum, uh, 30, 45 minutes, an uh, hour in the gym would be great. But you gotta make the use of that time Absolutely. by being consistent. At don't be those people in the gym. Do a set and rest for five two minutes, minutes later on the camera, <laughs> on it, <phone, laughs> I worked out. The gram, take right. a picture right. for the gram. No, you don't be that person. You want to make sure that your breaks stay within in between 30, 30 seconds to, to 90 seconds. Ooh. I do 45 right. seconds because I want my muscles time. to stay under under tension for as long as possible. Right. And so when I do my stability training, uh, I do my slow tempo. I do four, my, uh, oh, yeah, my decline, yeah. So I do my four seconds uh, decline, then I hold it, uh, mm -hmm. isometric, then isometric, I press. Yeah, press. And so for her and for your mom, I, I would say do a lot of stability training, a lot thanks. of core training, mm -hmm. a lot of glute training. Because yeah. uh, yeah. as we get older, you know, we start to get that because mm -hmm. posture is so important posture. to your fitness as well. Yeah. So you want to work on those things. Also, that flexibility will help you with recovery. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, just stick it 8 to 12 reps, uh, but a moderate weight with some resistance because you don't want to be too light because if you're not feeling the burn at all, mm -hmm. you're wasting your time in the gym. So you want to Oh, yeah, screenshot right. this. Screenshot oh, yeah. this. Yeah, can y'all see that? I'm trying to make sure mm -hmm. I get the I can't, so I know they can't. Yeah. So, yeah, you got... Forks over knobs, vegan, uh, vegan soul kitchen, the homemade vegan pantry, Afro vegan sweet potato soul. These are just a few of the great resources out there for plant based recipes. And yeah. um, if we will have, I actually put some more comments up there later about where you can get more resources, free resources. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to check out Bravo Fit as well. Yeah. With uh, sweat, sweat boxing, boxing and training, training facility. Yeah. 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 Awesome trainer. Just come oh, check man. us out. We got boot camp and boxing on Monday through Thursday at seven thirty p.m. At 500 South Belt Line in Irving, Texas. Yes, know? yes, yes, yes. Well, we appreciate you guys. If there are no other comments, we appreciate y'all and uh, have a good day. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. Click in live video. Yeah, in live video. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. This was, this was a lot of fun. It.